I'm here to sell the score between the rocket launcher and the most recently released egg splatter. It's popping up on Discord. Everybody's talking about it. Even on the live streams, people are asking, GW, which is better, the egg splatter or rocket launcher? Well, I'm going to use this video to show you guys what I think. But before we start, I want you all to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more awesome Roblox content from this GW channel, guys. It's super killer, no filler. Now, what we need to talk about today are a few key aspects that are going to help me determine which one's better. One is the cost. Next, we're going to talk about damage per second. And not just that, we need to talk about the features and playability because definitely each one performs differently. It's not fully just about the cost or damage per second. So with those three key factors, we're gonna be able to sell the score. Now let's hop right into cost. Starting out with the egg splatter, it's costing 1,500 eggs. Now this is only available during this Easter limited event. I gotta tell you, you better grab it while you can because this thing's going hot and I, there's not much time left. So I got mine right up front when the competition began. And for all of you starting out, really, the eggs are what you want to get to start unlocking some boats, some weapons. It's the cheapest way to move up versus this rocket launcher here, which is going for 8,000 shark teeth. Now, the shark teeth you have to earn per round, and I got a video on that too, but I got to tell you, it's going to take you quite a while to save up for it. Is it the most expensive gun? No, actually, the Shark Blaster is more expensive at 12,000 Shark Teeth, but it doesn't perform as well in terms of damage per second. So I put that one to bed, too, and found out the Rocket Launcher is way better. So let's really see how this stacks up against this Egg Launcher. So at first glance, you're going to say this Egg Splatter does not stack up, and I can't help but agree just looking at the stats alone. I almost passed this one by. I mean, look at the rate and accuracy. So bad, so bad. Even the damage looks small. So if you haven't really played with it, you would go, wow, this this doesn't look good, especially when you compare it to the rocket launcher, guys. Look at this rocket launcher with full damage and almost full accuracy. That rate of fire is so small, but who cares? Its damage per second output is incredible. That rate of fire, you won't even notice, guys. So out of the gate and on paper, you guys, it looks like the rocket launcher is a clear winner, but we haven't even started yet. We just talked about the cost here and really we're saying the egg splatter wins in terms of cost. It's super cheap right now because all you have to do is gather eggs versus grinding the 8,000 shark teeth, but it is limited time. So at the end of this event, you're not going to be able to get it. Now with the rocket launcher, yeah, 8,000. That's going to take hours, buddy. Good luck with that. Let us talk about damage per second because this is my favorite part. This is my stat that sell the score with the rocket launcher and the shark blaster. Here we go. So I recruited Whisper and P. Jackson to help me out. They were played the shark very nicely. Let me shoot them just so I could measure that time it took to do a certain amount of damage. So I timed all of this out, measured it up, and here's what I came up with damage per second. Out of a few trial runs with Whisper, I was able to get like 54 to 75 damage per second with the egg splatter. Wow, that sounds really good, right? How's that compare to the rocket launcher? Well, so I got mid 40s with that rocket launcher. So the egg splatter clearly wins when I played against Whisper. Now, what about P. Jackson over here? Because with him, I did have Whisper in the game. I couldn't quite tell if he was damaging the shark as well, but I don't think so. I think it was just me. And with that, I was able to get, guess what? 78 damage per second with the egg splatter. Wow, dudes, that's way higher. Now, that might be skewed just a little bit, so I'm going to back that down and say we got about 75 there because I got around 55 when I was playing against Whisper, so mm, that might be a little skewed there. I think Whisper might have hit him a couple times, guys. Now, with the Rocket Launcher and P. Jackson, man, whew, that was only getting 38 damage per second. And so overall, what we're talking about with the Rocket Launcher versus the egg splatter in terms of damage per second we got the egg splatter getting around 55 to 70 damage per second and then with the rocket launch we're in that 35 to 45 range hats off to the egg splatter here this is the clear winner in damage per second so guys it almost seems pretty clear here you have the stats which say one thing but then I have cost and damage per second, which say another that the egg splatter is better. But guys, here's where the tie is going to get broken because I think it all comes down to features. Now, when you look at the rocket launcher, it has the Corsair, but so does the egg splatter. What really makes it different is how the missile or the projectile works. So the rocket actually shoots a straight line at the shark and blows on contact versus the egg splatter, which is a lobbing. It, it has it goes up and then down. So there's a chance you're going to miss that shark just by time passing. Plus, it's a timed explosive. It lands and then it blows. It doesn't just straight blow once it hits the shark. So there is that time delay. And if you've got a shark moving around in that scenario, you're going to miss the shark. It's just going to happen. And I think you're going to miss a whole lot more shots with that egg splatter compared to the rocket launcher because of that. 
Now, it's really important with the rocket launcher you hit because if you miss, that really drops your damage per second. But I think if you've got a shark that's moving around so much, you're not going to be able to hit it at all with that egg splatter. It's going to come down to the rocket launcher. Maybe you'll miss one or two out of your five before you have to reload. But if you think about it, that's way more than that egg splatter if you just miss entirely. Now, there's one more thing I want to bring up, which is that distance that you can shoot, the range. So the range with the rocket launcher is incredible. In fact, it's probably one of the highest. I think it just has a little tick missing from the maximum range possible. So you're going to be able to hit that shark super far versus this egg splatter. You're not going to be able to do it unless you get close to the shark. So with all that said, the, the advantages with the rocket launcher is going to be in most combat scenarios, whether your shark is moving or not moving versus the egg splatter. You really want a shark that is kind of staying close to you. You know you're not going to get hit and maybe it's not moving so much so it gets hit by that splash. And so now that I know all this about the egg splatter, I can't help but be amazed, but I want to tell you guys which one I would pick. I would use the egg splatter in those kind of noob scenarios where we got that AFK shark. We've got that shark not doing a whole lot. I can predict it. I can get up close. But if I'm playing against some pros, if I'm playing on that rank server, guys, I'm definitely pulling out that rocket launcher. No holds bar. That's what we need to do to get in order to win and get those shark teeth, guys. That's my opinion. Put it down in the comments what you think. Which is better, egg splatter or rocket launcher? And yeah, to put a bow on everything, yes, I said I would use one in one scenario, one in the other, but really that rocket launcher is versatile. You can put it in both a noob server or one with more experienced sharks. I just think that with that rocket launcher, you're going to drop a lot of that damage per second. So if you do know who you're fighting against, egg splatter, baby, yeah. Well, that does it for us in this video, guys. We'll catch you all later.